Vanessa didn't realise how much danger she was in until after she kicked her abusive partner out of her home. That was when I found in the bedside table that he had weapons, duct tape, cable ties, garbage bags, everything essentially ready to go. She's among 2.3 million Australian women who've experienced violence at the hands of an intimate partner. About 700,000 men have also suffered partner violence. New data from the ABS suggests four in ten Australians have suffered violence since turning 15. The difference is who perpetrates that violence. And for men, it's generally another male person. For women, it's much more likely to be someone whom they know. Men are slightly more likely to experience physical violence, but women are far more likely to be subjected to sexual violence. One in four women have been abused by a partner or family member compared to one in eight men, and women are almost twice as likely to experience economic abuse by their partner. Controlling their bank accounts, um, not allowing them to work or study. This survey was done during the pandemic when these streets fell quiet. During lockdown, support agencies reported domestic violence was escalating, but the ABS found rates of emotional abuse and partner violence declined. It's a bit of a conundrum where, where we know the robustness of the survey, um, but we were surprised to see uh, figures going down. Experts working in the field say actions need to be taken to reduce all violence. It's the whole education system having honest and open conversations about consent. It's our workplaces being places where, that are safe and equal and where women can thrive. We need to stop asking questions like, why don't you just leave? And we need to start asking questions as to why he doesn't change his behaviour. A suggestion from one of the millions who have already suffered at their partner's hands. Nicole Asher, ABC News.